Hello guys, today I'm going to tell you how you can become a New Zealand resident in a very short time. And I promise you that after seeing this video, you will know a lot more about the New Zealand residency program than you probably knew before. And in this way, you can get, uh, you can take informed decisions about your future rather than uh, searching for answers for, from different forums, which may not be reliable. My name is Vineet Bharadwaj. I'm a fully licensed immigration advisor based in Auckland, New Zealand. My company's name is Visa Advice New Zealand Limited. If you find my videos informative, uh, please do not forget to like and subscribe my channel. So without much ado, let's start with today's topic. Uh, as I promised you earlier that I am going to tell you about New Zealand residency programs applicable at this point of time. So uh, in that line, I'm going to say that if you are skilled, if you have a good qualification, then it is highly likely that within a very short time, I can say from September 2022, you may be eligible for a New Zealand resident uh, residency program. How? Let me tell you. Let me tell you with an example. Suppose uh, you are currently working as a civil engineer or you have a qualification of uh, civil engineering in civil engineering which is uh, meeting the New Zealand qualifications framework at level eight. Uh, to be precise, the qualification uh, of uh, Bachelor of Engineering with honors level eight, which is equivalent to NZQF level eight, which in other words simply means that uh, your overseas qualification is meeting the requirements of New Zealand. Uh, if that is the case, then you are straight away eligible to apply for a work visa here. And uh, if you want to, for example, apply for a civil engineer job, which are in very high demand in New Zealand. So you can just go to seek.com or you can engage some uh, recruitment company or a career counselor. These uh, forums will enable you to find a suitable job and once you get a suitable job the next step would be just to apply for your accredited employer work visa and you can come here after coming here the third step would be just to apply for your residency it's as simple as that there are many jobs uh, to be precise 85 and score roles which immigration has highlighted in the green list and some of which are construction product project manager project builder, quantity surveyor, chemical engineer, civil engineering technician, civil engineer, electrical engineer, electronics engineer. So there are many engineering fields which you can look for. Geotechnical engineer, uh, telecommunications engineer, surgeons, urologists, uh, radiologists, medical lab, lab scientists, environmental research scientists, food technologists, multimedia specialists, software engineers. For the ICT roles, uh, there is an additional requirement that you must earn a specific salary, which you will uh, come to know when you apply. Then there is another pathway, which is work to residency pathway, in which uh, if you are falling under this uh, category, then you will get a work visa you come here and you work for two years and then you can apply. Then you will become eligible for residency. So this is also a very good pathway and it is uh, very certain that you will be able to do that. Another pathway is uh, if you are earning twice the median wage, then also you can apply for your residency after working for two years. These are the three categories under which you can apply. Uh, for a resident visa. I have mentioned all these uh, occupations in the description section 
and if you see and if you think that you uh, are falling under these occupations and you have some questions and you want to apply for New Zealand residency or a work visa, we are always there to help you. My contact details are also mentioned in the description section. And if you think that you fall under these occupations and you have these required qualifications and you need any help, any you have any queries, any questions to ask, you have any doubts to clear, we are always there to help you out and for those who are not falling under these occupations and in these categories uh, there is no need to be uh, disheartened because Immigration New Zealand is working on the skilled migrant category policy also and shortly I'm sure that they will announce it so you can subscribe to my channel so that as soon as immigration comes up with any announcements you are the first to know I hope I have been able to convey to you the best options available for you so that you can make a, an informed decision about your future. I'll be coming up with more informative videos and to keep you updated you can just subscribe to my channel. I'll be signing off now. Keep watching this space. God bless you all.